Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. When a business wins 20 international awards, I want to know the name of the business and what it does. So to see what business I'm talking about, take a look at this 10-second video. Practically right under your nose in Londonderry, New Hampshire, is one of the world's best local craft meaderies. The ultimate craft beverage you've likely never tried. And here are some of the meads. Uh, here is a, a, a cheese platter with chocolate mead. Then there's Desire. There's Desire with a nice glass. And then there is Red Dress, Indulge, and Them Little Apples. And that's a, uh, a cider. And then here's a large uh, brewing fermentation vat. And uh, there is, now, here is the definition of mead. For those of you that don't know, it's ancient drink from Europe, Africa, and Asia, made from water, honey, and yeast. Sometimes added fruits, spices, grains, and hops. With me is the co-founder of this successful business in Londonderry, Bernice Vanderberg. Welcome. Thank you. Nice Thank you for having here. me on. It's nice to delight. have you here. Um, you started this business in 2010. With my husband, Michael with your Fairbrother, husband, correct. Who left a job in high tech to do this. Correct. We what both did, did yes. What, what did you see? What did you see for a market? We saw a huge market. We, when we did our research, uh, Canada Research had put the mead market in Canada at about $2 billion. Ah. So that was a very enticing market right. to <laughs> think about. <laughs> now you are, and let's put this graphic up, you are, um, your mission is to bring ultra premium meads to market. One million plus bottles sold already, 20 international awards as we said, 40 plus meads uh, that you produce. You send to 35 states, Canada, and Australia. Correct. For uh, nine years. That's We've a pretty good record. We've been in business record. nine years now, yes. Yeah, that's a pretty good record. Let's taste, uh, not taste, I'd like to taste, <laughs> <laughs> but we haven't got time. But let's uh, walk through some of these meads and just describe what we have. Sure. As we go into the holiday season, uh, we have no need to argue, which is our cranberry mead. Mm -hmm. Just uh, hopped into one of our top sellers. Mm -hmm. Great name to bring to your Thanksgiving table in these uh, tumultuous times. Uh -huh. Then we have Red Dress, which is a red currant mead. Uh -huh. And so we've there. doubled the currants in this one. I think it's the best batch that we've ever made. This one just uh, won a gold, uh, best of show, actually. Best of show. Best of show. We've won two best of shows and six gold medals just in the last couple of months. And this is a competition among the various this, types of mead? Uh, various different, different types of meads. The yeah. National Honey Board put on their first ever yeah. mead competition. Yeah. And in front we have some cans because you have, uh, there's some cider uh, in these cans. Um, just describe what's, what's that. Sure. This is 13.5. Um, this is a 13.5% uh, barrel aged cider. It's a New England style cider and we age them in rye whiskey fooders, which think of a fooder as a giant oak barrel. That's mm -hmm. one of the pictures that yeah, you showed. Yeah, yeah. So that's 13.5, and then we have the little cousin, which is little apples, which is 6.5%. So meat is really uh, basically honey wine. It's yeah. wine made from honey, fermented, yeah, yes. it's wine made from honey. Correct. So the alcohol content would be anywhere from what to what? It can be, ours range anyway from about 6.5%, which is pretty light for what we usually make. Yep. Most of these on the table are about 14%, and they can go all the way up to 23% if they're barrel aged. What's the fermentation process? I mean, how do you... It is a right little there. simpler process than making beer or wine, mm -hmm. um, because you're not dealing with a water or must. Mm -hmm. um, the average time frame is about three to five months. Yeah, three to five months. Three and to then five months. Right. And so you've got, to, uh, you've got to produce ahead of time to meet this market Correct. that you have uh, yes. grown. Um, mold mead is a popular drink at Christmas. Do you, it is. Do you make that? Uh, we don't make mold mead, but no. we certainly have recipes for mulling you mead. Do. You do. Curd's and, apple pie would be one that I would recommend. And I understand there's a resurgence of the mead business nationally and across the world. Yes, we've had a four, over a 400% growth of meaderies in the United States, which is phenomenal. When we first started, there were only 75 worldwide. But there's a history, and very briefly, there's a history to mead that goes back how far? Oh, we call mead the ancestor of fermented beverages, so it predates wine and beer by thousands of years. By thousands of years. By thousands of years. Especially in Europe and Africa. Correct. Yeah. The oldest documented proof I have personally been able to find is a cave painting in Valencia, Spain that dates, dates back to 850 BC. That is amazing. Bernice Vandenberg, Moonlight Matery co-founder. Thanks. And, My uh, pleasure. And uh, I, I recommend just uh, 
looking at these bottles and having done my homework the last few days before this interview, I recommend people come and see you and take the tour. We definitely do tours and tastings daily. No reservations required.